Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to do some more power rankings. We're going to move to New England, and I'm going to give you my top 10 fall of 2024 New England La Cosa Nostra powerhouses. Uh, I'm going to go 10 up to 1. Um, when it comes to New England, we're talking about a lot of different crime families, not just the patriarchas. Um, so we're going to do you know the whole region. And because of that, there's going to be, you know, five or six guys that could probably easily have made it onto this list um, that didn't. So I'll do the I'll do uh, um, 10 through one and then I'll give you like maybe five guys that could have easily been on the list. But uh, but weren't. And as I've said, uh, these lists are and these rankings are fluid nothing uh just because it's 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 that way on monday doesn't mean it's going to be like that on wednesday or friday or the following week or the following month power is forever um you know moving and shifting there, there's a, a a spectrum if you will okay so let's start new england mafia power rankings fall of 2024 i got a controversial pick at 10 uh leaving out these five guys that could easily make an argument that they should be in it, you know, 10, 9, or or even uh, 8 or 7. But I'm sticking with these rankings. Okay, so Amadeo Santinello is at number 10, seems to be coming into his own in his 80s as a um, mob dignitary, is trying to put that Springfield crew back together with the blessing of uh, the West Side and uh, the Gigante uh, crew have blessed uh, Amadeo. Uh, we all have heard about what happened uh, back in the spring of the, you know, the, the takeover of the social club. Ralphie, uh, Amadeo's son, is battling some health issues right now, so he's not really in the picture anymore. So it's just really Amadeo, uh, him and Rooster, trying to get this thing, um, you know, the ship righted, if you will, um, and, and back to the way things were maybe 20 years ago because the last 10 years has been um, has been bad if you're the, if you're the Genovese. You, you haven't been really seeing any money, and it's a rogue administration. You didn't bless it, uh, and they're trying to get uh, get people back on the right track. And it seems to be falling on the shoulders of Amadeo. Uh, again, he's 85, very spry 85, um, and seems to be reaching kind of his apex of power right now. He's at number 10, Springfield, Massachusetts, Western Mass. Genovese um, offshoot. Number nine, Eddie Perret or Eddie Peretti. He is the alleged uh, patriarch of crime family crew boss in Connecticut. Um, came up under Beaver and um, Beaver died a couple years ago. Eddie took over from Beaver and seems to be a big earner and has a lot of respect from the guys in Boston and Providence. Uh, moving to number eight, Dino DePreta, uh, uh, or Dean DePreta, Ball Dino DePreta. He is the Gambino skipper in Connecticut right now. Um, you know, a guy that was was you know mentored by all of the the uh, OG Connecticut Gambinos, and now uh, he has the power. Uh, that moves to, moves us to number seven. Uh, Gussie Curcio, the uh, Genovese skipper in Connecticut. So the last three have been um, crew bosses or capos in Connecticut representing other crime families. Uh, Gus has been around forever, almost 50 years on the map here. Another guy that learned from all the Connecticut Genovese OGs. And uh, guy's got a lot of money, legitimate money. Uh, it's very diversified. Uh, owns a lot of strip clubs and uh, is, is still um, a juggernaut. Uh, so go to number six. Uh, Luigi Baby Shack's Minocchio seems to be headed towards the, you know, the great social club in the sky. Uh, word is that um, he's kind of winding down his back nine and might be on the 18th hole right now, putting for par. Uh, could be dead 
you know, within the next couple of months, we're told is not in the best of shape. He's 90, 96, 95, 97. He's, uh, he's very old, but uh, I don't care how old the guy is. The guy is one of the most um, legendary, epic godfathers in uh, New England history and uh, deserves to be on here, even if he's on his last legs in his 90s. And, you know, baby, you can't talk about Providence without talking about Baby Shacks um, and what he's, you know, the role that he's filled in that community, for better or worse, uh, very polished, um, looks more like a, you know, English professor at uh, Brown University than a, than a mob done. Okay, that brings us to our top five. Number five, I think maybe... 35 years ago or so, we thought maybe this guy would be at number one. Um, nonetheless, this is where he is right now. Vinny Ferrara, Vinny the Animal, in his 70s, he's been out of prison for about 20 years, hasn't ascended to an administration post, even though a lot of people had tapped him to be a future Don back in the 80s. Um, but, you know, he's rich, really, you know, again, legitimate money. He, he's, he's invested uh, incredibly well owns a ton of property, a lot of money legitimately, but uh, word is that he is capo again and that uh, he's been given Norfolk County to run. State, uh, Stadies have been investigating him um, the last couple of years, confiscated some money from a bank account. But, you know, it was a guy that, you know, was, he's the OG, man. I mean, in terms of Boston. Um, Vinny is uh, universally respected and uh, somebody that gives counsel to the to the admin both in Boston and in Providence and I'm told is happy uh, not being in the admin and just kind of doing his own thing. Number four, the uh, reputed um, conciliary or street boss um, in the Patriarchas, Bucky Spagnuolo, Anthony Spagnuolo, another OG. Guy's been around forever. Um, was an acting boss. Now I'm told is more conciliary street boss. Um, but, you know, I got another guy with universal respect uh, up and down the East Coast. Can go anywhere in the country and, and doors will open for him. Um, you know, Spucky, the guy was the driver in the... Um, to Joe Barboza hit, you know, tracked with J.R. Russo to California from, from Boston back in the 70s um, to take their vengeance on Joe the Animal. So this guy's been around quite a while. Okay, it brings us to our top three. Number three um, is the uh, top guy in Providence, good-looking Matty Guglielmetti. He's underboss again after uh, having been underboss. Step back because of, of some health issues, has now taken the post back. We're told Maddie, another guy, um, super well connected around the country, not just the East Coast, a guy that uh, everybody seems to uh, love and respect, and uh, is a guy that is all about the life, dyed in wool, uh, wise guy, as Jerry Capace would say, and is holding things down for uh, Providence right now in Rhode Island, the number two guy in the patriarchal crime family. The last two uh, kind of go without saying. The the Denunzio brothers, Big Cheese and Little Cheese. I got Little Cheese at two, Big Cheese at one. Carmen Denunzio is the overall godfather of New England and has been for about 10 years. Um, and then his brother, uh, Anthony Denunzio, Little Cheese, is, you know, kind of his, his mouthpiece on the street. He's acting boss, um, street boss, kind of along with Spucky. Uh, Anthony's the one who does all the politicking and, uh, you know, for, for 2024, I'd say that the patriarchs are in pretty good shape, even though the Providence wing has taken a hit attrition wise, the Boston wing seems to be very strong. And then you got Maddie, some other guys, um, lesser known guys, uh, in, in Providence and Connecticut. So that's my top 10. I just want to shout out a couple guys that probably either could or should be on this top 10 list of most powerful New England mafia figures in the fall of 2024. Um, you know, talking about uh, 
the Rhode Island wing of Patriarcha Joe Ruggiero, sorry, Joe Ruggiero, who's a capo, uh, close to Baby Shacks. I think he kind of runs things out of Fall River now, Massachusetts. Um, but uh, is a guy that has a lot of a lot of juice. Um, Sean uh, Viteri, who is the Philadelphia Mobs uh, alleged skipper in New England, he could easily be on there. And then you know, three guys from Boston that again, the, a lot of OGs in Boston right now. Uh, uh, Freddie the Neighbor, uh, Benny the Greaser, and, and Bobby Carosa, all guys that could easily be on here that I'm told have some you know, continuing role in terms of whether it's emeritus or uh, whether they're still considered capos or just advisors. Uh, Fre Freddie Simone and uh, uh, Biagio uh, Di Giacomo, but Biagio Di Giacomo and Bobby Carosa. Uh, uh, Biagio, they call Benny, and uh, Freddie Simone, they call Freddie the Neighbor. Again, guys that have been around. Seemingly forever. That's my New England top 10 fall of 2024. Most powerful mafia figures in New England. Please like, subscribe, share the OG pod. Uh, check out our Patreon members only where we do uh, you know, a little bit different type of content, a little bit uh, more analytical, more deep dive. Uh, not always LCN, mostly LCN, but we get into um, kind of true crime of the day. So check that out. Um, we're going to be uh, rolling out some more content this week. So please spread the word, like, share, subscribe. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pot Out.